Thanks for viewing my video. Today we are changing the automatic transmission fluid on my Mazda 3. This isn't a full ATF flush, but a simple ATF change. I will be using genuine Mazda AT fluid, specifically the M5 for my model, but you can consider using synthetic ATF. I will also be adding 24 fluid ounces of Lucas transmission fix due to my Mazda's high mileage. First step is to jack up your car. Locate your transmission's drain plug. Since the drain plug is in front of the control arm, I will be covering the control arm with a box. My drain plug will be using a 19mm socket and a ratchet. Remove the drain plug with a firm grip. I also have a drain pan ready beneath the box. Do not forget to replace the washer that goes on the drain plug. After the AT fluid is done draining, clean your area. Return the drain plug and hand tighten. Next use your socket and ratchet to further secure it. Be careful not to strip the drain plug. Remove your catch can out of the way. Next verify how much AT fluid drained. For my interval, I have just less than 3 quarts. Next locate your ATF dipstick. That's where I'll be funneling the new ATF fluid. I will be using genuine AT fluid, but you can use synthetic fluids. I am using Lucas transmission fix just due to my car's high mileage. Start pouring the AT fluid slowly. The Lucas fluid is very thick, so just be patient. Once you're done pouring, the next step is to start your car and start switching between gears. Make sure to take your time and really switch between gears for a good 10 minutes.
Once you're done going between the gears, take a 10-15 minute drive and then come back. With the car still running, check your ATF fluid. If it's a little bit low, add as needed. Those are the final steps in changing your ATF fluid.